peace, peace, peace. Always love, light, phenomenal healing. Deep topic of oneness. Oneness. Filling a room with pure love. Filling a room with yet nothing and everything. Mm. So, this one is about oneness. And in this oneness, why take a few steps forward, take a step back, Take five steps forward, take a step back, all with their moon cycles, moon phases. So, as we talk about this divine topic of oneness, we gonna literally understand everything around us and at play. High, medium, or low. Feeling your soul and knowing what you want, what you feel is right for you and your visions. So, the oneness of everything, just like a prime example, filling the room with nothing and everything. Your magic, your purity, your pure essence of your magic room full of hundreds and hundreds of people how do you feel not to feel everyone's emotions mm, mm, mm. this is the deep one right now this is the biggest shift right here the biggest shift in transmuting even with sorcery you ready to talk about it? That's it's deeper. It's deeper than the words now. And somebody they could just have a negative thought pattern, like, <clears throat> "Ooh, I had to clear my throat." So we t we gonna talk about it. So just just a little small little topics, you know. Oh, that 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 don't that don't look good on her. That don't look, you know, those those little specific thought patterns. That's still judgment. And since that's still judgment, that clouds the pineal gland. So if just one person in the room has a clouded pineal gland from unnecessary thought patterns from judgment and not pure intuition, those eons and ions are sending a ripple effect out and start as little eons and ions in the room. Hundreds of people in the room in their space. Remember, as they move. So, as you walking by with your high vibrational eons and ions, like I said, the room full. You walk by this person with those thought patterns and out of nowhere, boom. Hmm. Transmute. Mm. Keep your vibes high. Ooh, somebody in here sadder than a mother. Somebody is feeling low, but let's let's keep our vibes high. So when they walk by us, baby, they feel this. They feel this, baby. I'm trying to tell you. Oneness. That's the big thing about us playing our part. And understanding that like me being a Piscean and fire and water and aligning with divine fire so this this allowed me to be more in the moment of things and really understand the moments and the oneness
missing it. So yes, this one is really understanding our oneness and how we within our genes and activations and the eons and ions that we give off. Hmm? Law. Them to be reciprocated back. Hmm? So all, of course all this adds up. It shows. So Spirit led these, these next few contents. Like I said, beautiful souls. We're oracles. We don't need cards. We don't use cards. We go by the energy on the nodal points and the energy on the energy grids. Don't need the cards. When you can meditate and feel the energy grids and nodal points. Mm -hmm. It hit different. It hit different. So that's deep too when you're talking about energy grids and nodal points. Being able to be nothing and everything and travel energy grids and nodal points. On the phone with beautiful souls from continent to continent, removing energy. Hmm? Things are set at a much pure frequency during Aquarian season. Is why you see a lot of patriarchy energy folding, bending, bowing at command to pure frequencies. Nothing was to be bound and manipulated. Hmm. Hmm. So yes, this one, the oneness of speaking our truths and keep bearing fruit. That's, that's, like I said, everything I'm saying. I'm not pulling. I say pulling energy, but it was deeper than pulling. It was it's just coming easily and effortlessly. So I was just, I'm feeling. I'm in the moment and feeling. And in that feeling, like moon cycles, moon phases, how the sun go around. Mm. Everything is oneness. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I did say we're going to tap back into it. And, yeah. This time we uh, go ahead and tap back into it. Because there was a lot of Obejana activations. There's still a lot going on. So, that's that's divine too. That's why a lot of beautiful souls is waking up to purple and red. It's, it's divine. Purple and gold together. So it's, it's divine right now. Um, the royalty activations. I understand that too when we're talking about oneness. And your DNA activations. That's another thing. Everybody got Egyptian. Who... Who would have the audacity to say? <clears throat> and I know you lying. I know you lying. I speak of oneness, and this is at its purest frequency. How dare you tell the next beautiful soul they ain't got Egyptian genes? Chosen ones is 144. That's DNA strands within the all. Everybody that got melanin that was created by our celestial ancestors, we ain't talk we ain't we ain't talking about the soulless beings. We ain't talking about certain wizards, certain warlocks, we ain't talking about certain trolls, 
We ain't talking about certain shape shifters. We ain't we we ain't we ain't gonna get a whole list. But I'm just saying. When we talking about how ancient and old we are and what's going on out here. No sugar coat. No sugar coat. To a certain extent though. Like I said, boundless and limitless, though when it's at a certain frequency, you want to keep it at that frequency for the post, the content. You don't want to hopscotch, because y'all know I, I hopscotch real quick. Master travel, whoop, and the channel mess right there, whoop, whoop, because like I said, easily and effortlessly. On this one and like I said just the oneness of it brings me back to why I'm talking about the sorcery the doppelgangers because at the end of the day oneness at its purest frequencies of authenticity no manipulation no patriarchy energy no lies no secrets. There's <laughs> lies and secrets is yet unhealed within the body. If you gotta take it with you to your grave, it's unhealed. It needs to be healed. Are we ready to talk about it? Are we ready to talk about it? Uh, calling all angelic frequencies in the room. Calling all apostles in the room. Calling all divine Hebrew frequencies in the room. Calling all divine goddess matriarchs in the room to talk about this divine message to get it through. Easily and effortlessly. At its purest frequencies. We live in a matrix of a stolen legacy. And in this stolen legacy, they give you words as gods and goddesses, and you would put to these words and spells your own vibration, frequency, and energy as you see the power flowing within you of these words. So when you feel, because you are already at your purest frequency, a beautiful soul talk about depression, anxiety, pain on the hip, a vibration, frequency, and energy. When they say demon, it can yet carry a vibration, frequency, and energy to it, to your levels of consciousness. Because when they say demon in the matrix, it still has its own vibration, frequency, and energy. To suffix and prefix it, you have demelanated one. Or six, 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 six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. It's the chemically injected stardust. That created us. So, when they say depression as a doctor that tours your documents in a house that is a house that is a pit to all, house pit to pit touring your documents. 
maybe a C minus, maybe even an A plus. But the fluid injection that started with the herb, God created all herbs and nutrients on earth to consume. And the matrix taking that herb, putting it into a pill substance or fluid. Beautiful souls aligned to me. We talk about it. Mystery school teachings. Nothing's at a frequency of unknown unless you allow it to be. We are to embrace the unknown. I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to rewind it. We are to embrace the depths of the unknown. Not just feel a little bit of it. Ooh, I don't like that. Who? And you wonder why you keep going in the same paradigms. It's like a void. In plain sight calm don't put no name or nothing don't feel just feel your love and feel the moment in the now nothing else matters mm -hmm. so of course that calmness that stillness and being Now, you can start to vision what you want. We want to first be at a frequency of peace, purity, calmness. So when they come in, other beautiful souls that you could be feeling so powerful just a powerful channel that you are you it ain't even got to be next door it can be three four blocks down it was such a strong rage ah you're such you're at such a pure frequency boom oh oh somebody was oh somebody screaming man angry hmm It ain't no secret. I mean, come on now. Ain't no way you just laying in the bed, chilling. In your meditative state, then out of nowhere, just, mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no. You know, like, mm-mm. No. You wanted me to give that example. That's a powerful channel. That's a prime example of a superpower. You hear a lot of beautiful souls say empathic. Very empathic. Like I said, we don't want to, y'all know, like I said, we don't want to want to stay on the topic at hand. And as y'all see it, most beautiful souls that really understand oneness your duality, all of it. All of it. You see it. And beautiful souls, when they speak, they sound waves. How do they sound? <laughs> they switch it up. Is it the masculine? Is it the feminine? Is it both together? You know? That's what I'd be loving to see. I just... Because it's the oneness and everything, so... And that's deep. When I say namaste, I see the light in me as I so I see. I see the light in me as so I see the light in you. And that same light in you is the same light that I see in me. Namaste and the oneness of the all. So when I'm talking to beautiful souls, I listen. 
listen. And I watch too, like, when you get at that frequency of oneness, seeing colors, eons, ions, seeing the oneness of things clearer and clearer. You know, you just peel an onion layers back. You peel an onion layers back. You know? That's the part of the journey. And in this part of the journey, there's no race. There's no ethnicity. Tribes. Akashic Records. Star seeds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ones that speak fruit and pure life in the knowing of the knowledge. Keep coming, keep coming. Mm-hmm. It's law. And so, like, I'm going to keep this one a little short. Y'all know I'm, um, these these few going deep in. Like I said, uh, these channel messages just flowing and allowing them to come in easily and effortlessly. But it was the oneness of things. Like, really, seeing the oneness of things and, like, how a beautiful soul will say that they have depression or some type of diseasement of energy in the body. And that's deep as well. So, and that's deep too when beautiful souls know you, you get some that realm on the 20 to 11. On a deeper aspect when they're saying, you know, depression is a demon. Depression is a vibration, frequency, or energy all according to what you set to it. Mm, mm, mm. And it's law. You bring no pain. You bring no hurt to anyone. Just love at its purest frequencies. So of course it's law. Loud and clear even for the ones in the back. Of course it's law. For anyone who does patriarchy spell work. Curses, hexes with groups of people. Seances. The more the merrier is powerful. It's gonna work since we got a hundred people on deck. For one beautiful being. It's law. It go back. Pow. 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 Ancestors in the ether showing out, ain't they? Because y'all ought to know better. Yeah. It, it, page, it was Pisces season. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that part of the rule, big baby. These old souls going to talk about it. You forgot that part of the rule book. It could have happened in Pisces season. Come on now. I'm a Pisces. Hmm? Could have happened. We are in Aquarian season. Aquarian season ain't gonna play that. We here to flow. So, of course, it's law. All y'all getting it back. Getting it back. Just the way that intention you set to harm. Beauty spells, sex spells, whatever you decided to send out comes back to you ten times fold. Hmm? Ten times fold. Hmm. So I had to understand that too. Why, like, yeah. And go to the hospital, to the mental asylum. All these different shifts. So. 
Whew, man, that was a deep one, y'all. Like, literally, that was a deep one. Some literally were in the time loops of Piscean season, still doing sorcery work, still out here, like, manipulating relationships, companionships. I can't have you. Nobody can have you. That's a spell. That's a very low vibrational spell. It's poisonous. It sounds like a lot of healing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I get them, like, to help them shift, to help the energy remove out of them as soon as they if I. If I can't have you, nobody can have you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'm going to sleep great when I rest in my meditative state. I'm going to dream. Yes. <laughs> Help them shift. Hmm? I always add up. Especially during these times right now. I want to talk about that. During these times right now, the oneness of things, how you perceive love, and how that ripple effect is given out to other beautiful souls. Separates the real from the fake, too. Separates the real from the fake too. It's ones that will go to depths to do spell work on um, binding, binding, just so other beautiful souls can be seen for their authenticity because they're copying and pasting it. That's what a lot of doppelgangers are uh, have been doing, were doing, have broken through those paradigms, or else I wouldn't be right here talking about it right now. You feel me? Doppelgangers, ones that have come on, real chosen ones that really do the work, bear this fruit, bind the whole YouTube channel, bind the whole Facebook page, and blasphemy. That's when I started saying awareness is a superpower because I started paying attention to how the DMT entities was moving around in vessels. And belittling chosen ones. Blasphemy. Because and yet if your dharma and your karma was leveled and balanced at its purest frequencies, there would be no other light being off of thy lips unless it's at a high frequency. When I understood that, I cut it all off completely. The only thing I speak off thy lips is what I see, speak, and feel from my ancestors. Through me. The oneness of things like, mm, mm, mm. So, yes. And that be deep too. Your ex is all of it. Love it. Love everything was divine learning experience for you in this life so yeah and that's too low for me y'all that's when I understood purity at its purest frequencies that's too low I'm not gonna be little or X or be little no we talk about the natural components of the companionship and what helped us ascend what you needed to heal in the process of being with one another all this all this add up. But like I said, it's, it's still the oneness about it. So, we're going to go on and shorten this one. So, the oneness is your love. All day, every day. All day, every day. And what do you want to see in your world? So, y'all already know what's up. My main, uh... What my main goal is right now is going ahead and getting this uh, YouTube page monetized and switching up the shifts and paradigms. Because like I said, y'all already know haters will be haters. Just jump the timelines on them. Because you jump timelines, you you see them for what it is. They, 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 they're still down there. 
binding and stuff as if it's going to work and still want to like, oh, oh, you would think this would get tiresome. This is the moon phase cycle when you keep going in that cycle. Oh, mm. right here is when you, oh, yep, this should be the last one. But yet, yeah. mm, do your spells and do your binding there. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, too much. Okay. okay. Like I said, <laughs> y'all already know. Always love, light, phenomenal healing, and the oneness. Let's get it, y'all. We out here, chosen ones. Peace.